Hi there, Tim with Madrona Labs. Today we are going to be looking at the patcher section in Kaivo. The patcher section is uh, what you use to make everything happen. It's like the grand connector within Kaivo. It's both the place from which the joy of working with Kaivo springs forth, but it's also the section that's most likely to confuse you at first. If you have any experience with modular synthesis, then this will all make sense to you. Um, and much like modular synthesis, it looks so much more confusing than it actually is. And in fact, it is pretty intuitive. So let's get into the patcher section here. So as we've discussed so far in the previous videos, Kaivo is made up of four different sections, our header, our shape section with all of our modulation source modules, and then this dark area here, which is the patcher, and then we have our audio section down here with our audio modules. Okay, so let's make some connections now in the patcher section. First up, I'm just gonna close Kaivo really quick to show you that I've got a little MIDI track looping here. Um, so that is actually coming out of the key module up here. And you can see gate right here. You can see this blinking red dot here. That is the gate output. So if I send that, I'll grab and drag that over to the trigger input for envelope one. Now we are getting our signal out here. So you can see the red and the green lines here uh, within the Kaivo default preset. Those are the connections. Those are the patch cables. And to make a connection, what you do is you find an output, like the X output right here on the LFO 2D, click on it, and then I can drag that to any one of these audio module inputs down here. However, I can also, you know, put it into the, uh, the modulation sources up here. I could even patch the X output of the LFO 2D into the offset of LFO 2D, and now it is self-modulating. And you'll notice when you click an output, you can see under the cursor, there's a little arrow that's just pointing in what direction the signal is flowing. So the, the signals tend to flow down from the, the shape uh, module section down to the audio. However, there are also um, inputs for the signals as just demonstrated with patching the Y uh, output of LFO 2D to its offset. And here's a fun tip, both audio and modulation sources are the same type of signals, just at different frequencies. So you can use audio as a modulation source. So for instance, if I go over to the LFO 2D, turn the rate all the way up, let's, turn, let's give this a little volume. Now I take this X output and I put it into the pitch. So here I'm using this LFO at audio rate to modulate the pitch of the granulator section. Built into Kaivo is the concept of molting or multiplying signals. This means that if I take the X output of the LFO 2D and I put it into the pitch in of the resonator, I'll get this going. Um, okay, that's pretty wild. But what if I also want to send the noise output into this pitch? Well, all I have to do is grab the noise output and plug it in as well. Now we have two control voltage sources controlling one input. So let's say I have three patch cables going to the same destination and I want to move one of them. What you can do is you can click through on the color of the cable and then you will see what we call their handle, this circle at the end that will show up and then you can click on that and you can either drag it to a new destination or you can drag it out into the middle of the patch bay here and you'll see that X, you let go, and now that um, connection is gone. You also can move multiple at a time if you click outside in the patch bay and then highlight all of the cables, grab the handle here that's now white, and you can move those to a new input or just drag those out. You'll see the X, let go, and they're gone. But we can actually take this concept one step further. So what I've done here is I've gone to all of these dials and I've turned their input values uh, up or, or down if they're bipolar uh, into the negative range. And what I'm going to do is take the output from the LFO 2D and drag it around to the different inputs, not only to test it out, but to also see if uh, you know I could use it as some sort of uh, gestural or expressive control to play Kaivo like an instrument. So let's get this going. I'll take the X output. So 
So I covered the large dials in a previous video, but now I want to talk about these small dials. These are the input dials. So right now you can see I do have the gate going to the envelope, so it's being triggered, and the envelope output is going into the level input. However, I have not turned up the amplitude of that signal yet. So if I just click on this dial, slowly bring it up, we allow our signal to go in and we can dial that down. Something else that is very important to know is there are unipolar and bipolar signals. So the envelope is just a unipolar signal. So it's just sending out a positive signal, but LFOs are bipolar. So they have positive and negative cycles. So when you plug in a bipolar signal into an input, you'll notice, and then I turn up the volume here, you can see that it's going above and below the volume that I set here. Just like some outputs are unipolar and some are bipolar, some of the inputs are unipolar and bipolar. So in the case of the level, that's a unipolar, just positive. You can go from zero all the way up. Um, but then the pitch inputs for the resonator, the body, the granulator, those are all bipolar. So let's turn this envelope up and add our resonator in. Now let's take the pitch output from the key module and put this into the pitch of the resonator. And I'll turn our dry signal down a little bit so we can hear the resonator better. Now, okay, at zero, we're not getting any of the pitch information in. Drag this to the left. Now it's going positive voltage, bringing the notes higher. And if I go right, it brings it into a negative voltage and pitches it down. So as you've probably noticed, the outputs on the shape modules have little virtual LEDs, and the brighter they light up, the more powerful the signal is. So, for instance, if I get uh, our LFO going, let's get our rate kind of slower here. So here's my level. You can see here, we can see it's kind of dimly yellow, but if I turn it all the way up, it gets much brighter and as you go down more and more and more dim. Because Kaivo is a polysynth, there is one thing that I wanted to touch on really quick. Um, up here in the key module, which we will be doing a more in-depth video on in the future, you can see voices here and below it, the, the value reads one. We can go from one to eight. So now we have eight different synth voices, you know, classic polysynth. So if I take the X output, from LFO 2D and put it into the pitch input of the granulator, this X output is modulating the pitch of all eight voices. So all of these parameters are going into those eight voices. So basically there are eight LFO 2D modules that all respond to the controls here in the LFO 2D module. All right, this has been our video covering the ins, outs, and patching section of Kaivo. Stay tuned for future videos covering each module independently in greater detail. For more information about Kaivo and all of the other amazing soft synths from Madrona Labs, please visit the link in the video description. Thanks for watching.